Hello everyone and welcome to the final demo of the Bradford 3D Fountain Simulator. I'm going to quickly go through the main functionality and we'll start with camera controls. Left clicking and dragging will give you full rotation of the camera. Right clicking and dragging will move it without rotating. And the mouse wheel allows zooming in and out of the scene. So let's start with settings functionality. Uh, we can load any configuration available, either sample ones or previously created by users. Um, so let's load foggy mass and look at the elements to see what's going on. Um, the elements that you can interact with are mist geezers. You can turn them on or off by ticking or unticking the, uh, the box. Simply click again on an element or on the mouse wheel to deselect any selected element. Uh, next we've got arching jets and these two were um, the simplest elements to implement as they can only be turned on or off. Um, on the side we've got um, jets which can be configured to follow animation sequences. As you can see here we've got some boxes with numbers. The numbers designate the uh, number of seconds for the animation to play on one height before moving to the next one. So each one of these heights is connected to um, one of these boxes which specifies how long to wait on this height before moving to the next height. We can also change the color of the, of the jet element and again turn it on or off. Um, once you have uh, fiddled with the um, with the animation sequences, in order to see the immediate effect and synchronization, you should press this button, which resets all the timers on all the elements which have um, sequences. Um, you can also add surfaces of water to the uh, pool until it's uh, completely flooded. Um, you can change between daytime and nighttime, nighttime adding a bit more contrast and making all the uh, jets easier to see. Um, and you can also drop down to human level and now your mouse control where you look at and the W, ASD and space keys uh, and space keys control um, where, you, where you move so you can explore everything in, in more detail. Um, once you're ready to pop back up to the third person camera, just simply click the plane icon and you're back where you were before. Um, once you're happy with your schema and want to save your design, click the save button, provide a name, I'll say probably mass 2 because it's pretty much the same thing, and name of the author. Click submit and your configuration will be saved on server, so we can see it here on the S2. Um, that's the quick overview of the fountain. Hope you like it, and thanks for watching.